Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting a Pisces new moon reading going for the year of 2023 going for you. Find out what this energy with the Pisces new moon is going to be bringing into your life, what it's helping you assist get rid of, and what you can anticipate for about four to five weeks. <clears throat> if you want more information on the new moon in Pisces, there is a link down in the description box to Molly McCord's Pisces new moon video. It takes about 20 minutes to watch it, Cancer. Um, I do have out the mermaid tarot here today, and I'm going to clarify with the mystical moments. And then I do have two different types of oracle cards that I will drop one to close out your reading. Cancer, this is going to be for about four to five weeks. Keep in mind that I'm not a licensed physician. So seek out a doctor if you're not feeling well. The moon. She's in the water and she's using her voice. So you're Water and air placements are activated during this four to five week period. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse came out. Um, this Mermaid Tarot deck has a pretty clear um, reversal definition. So even though this year I'm not using a whole lot of reversals, this deck has a, um, it's been pretty defined. And I feel like telling you that it is time to change some sort of, well, let's keep going. Let's get some more energies here. Uh, you're, there's a, I'm picking up on a water placement in your chart that is probably ruled by, in, like, this would be like where cancer might rule your 7th, 11th, or 3rd house, or Pisces, like, like your water placements would be those houses, um, which are air signs ordinarily, or it could be like the opposite, like your air signs rule your, there's something about that, there's like, or even like, maybe Mercury is in Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and that isn't really my like tell to tale. I don't know what you're gonna find out about that, but I do believe, um, was it for the month of February or during the full moon in Leo? I said something to Cancers about picking up an instrument or something you did as a child, a sort of creative nature. And so, this four to five weeks, you may be doing something from a younger age that at one point in time you had to put it down, stop working with it, like you couldn't commit to it, and um. These people are un under the water on this Ten of Pentacles and they're like inside of some sort of enclosure that most likely humans built and it was absorbed by water, right? But in the reverse, it looks like a train station, like coming out of a tunnel. Like this to me looks like the light at the end of the tunnel when you're like on a train. So I feel like um, you could even be getting like a new vehicle cancer here in this next four to five weeks or you, you might go through a tunnel like that, a, a couple tunnels be on a train. There's something like that. The Leo card is on the bottom of the deck. So go check out that Leo full moon video, Cancer. Or make sure that you're watching all of your big four. Seven of, seven of wands here. You've got some fears going on. Um, I do think that you are struggling with what you can't see, what you don't know, what isn't, like, isn't clear ahead. And... <clears throat> Cancer, there's advice that somebody gave you. And you're ignoring it. Actually, as I sit here, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting called out. <laughs> okay. Um, King of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. With the Devil on the bottom. I said that at the beginning of your reading. That you are stuck in some sort of situation or conditioning. It's a conditioning. You've been taught something. Cancer. Probably by a Capricorn or a Saturn ruled person or like a father figure, some sort of very masculine energy. And um, 
could be an air sign. If your father or like grandfather or brother is uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, this advice actually might have come from this person. But let's get out some mystical moments. I, I'm actually, you're very blocked. I'm going to tell you right now, Cancer. Um, and this four to five weeks is here to break you free of some sort of blockage. Like, you think that you're blocked here with the devil. Oh, yeah, and the hermits on the bottom of the deck. Um, you have some earth energy that is changing in your life. Uh, you feel a little bit stuck by this energy. You feel trapped. Saturn might be really influencing you right now, Capricorn. Oh, you might have a Capricorn placement you need to go check out cancer um that's your detriment too so you know capricorn energy where it's at and what saturn's doing right now in a sign of pisces um this could this is like uh again let's get some more energy cancer you're having a hard time right now like i'm having a hard time channeling for you because you're you're not you're not as open as you think you are to this change you're not as um you're very blocked. You feel in the dark in a situation is what I'm hearing. And it, 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 music is going to heal you. If you don't play an instrument, you need to be putting on like music that you haven't listened to in years and years. Like think back to 12 years ago or 28 years ago. What was on the radio? What was the number one like top 20 songs of that of 12 years ago of 2011 or we'll say 1994. Okay. Look back at those times and the music that was playing on the radio at those times, I think is there's been, um, Somebody said to me recently, Cancer, the music that's on the radio right now is garbage. It teaches men how to be garbage. And I feel like there's something about that statement that in in these two years that I just gave you to look back at like the music that was played at that time, you could have had like a subconscious conditioning put into you unintentionally by a, a song. Um, and, and music has some answers for you, especially with this King of Swords. And this moon, yeah, you're learning a lesson right now. You're holding some sort of belief system, is what the spirit's saying. Um, like you're you're prescribing to some sort of, it's a subconscious lesson, and you're about to go through a four to five week period of time here, Cancer, where you are going to be asked to pass a series of tests. And those tests, you need to stop fearing them. You need to get out of your head about them because those tests are exactly what you need for some sort of breakthrough, literal breakthrough, where you come out of some sort of cage, some sort of darkness. And um, somebody with two O's in their name is going to come, could be their first, their middle, or their last name. Don't go asking people cancer like a weirdo. What's your middle name? <laughs> like, don't do that. Allow them to say this, teach you that they have two O's in their name on their own. Like, like go with the flow. Let, like, trust that you will, this person will organically tell you that they have two O's in their name. Um, you can't see something right now. The judgment of four of swords. Um, you're in a, you're kind of in a pause. You're in a pause right now. And it, the reason you're in a pause is because you're trying to see something that it's not time for you to see it. You have to go through this series of events. Um, you are in this energy here, Cancer. I, man, this is difficult. You're very blocked. You're very, and I'm, um, I'm trying to, to to give you some peace here. I'm trying to rain on some, and sing a tune for you, or you know, speak some truth into how you're gonna get through this easily. But it's almost like you, you don't want to be told that it's gonna be okay. And 
like this mermaid on this double card on the bottom of the deck, literally the lock is not on that cage. It's unlocked. All that animal, all that mermaid has to do is reach down and move the lock and get out of the cage. So there's something that you are not doing that if you did it, it would change everything and your truth would come out. Some of you are here to find your purpose. You feel lost and you feel blocked. You feel like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. There's, there's a step that you're avoiding. There's something that you need to focus on. This Pisces season is here to allow you to invest in some sort of creative nature flawlessly, embracing something that at one point in time, you could have experienced this already and you rejected it. Um, you felt like it wasn't your table to sit at cancer. And now you're like, oh my gosh, this opportunity is here again. How do I not repeat the past? And you're, you respond, you choose to act, you go with the flow, you trust that the person that teaches you or comes into your life here that you're about to meet in the next four to five weeks, this person that has two O's in their name, you have to trust that this person will reveal themselves to you. Yeah, there's a doorway for you opening. Um, and um, your hands are going to be tired at the end of this five weeks. Whatever you're about to pick up back up, like you're going to put energy back into. You haven't done this thing in a long time. And um, I feel like when you do it, all of a sudden, this pause, this state of healing, this experience where you're kind of coming out of a shell. It's got, this reading's going to make sense. You're like, oh my gosh, why did I not do this earlier? Some of you are grieving the loss of something in like its entirety. Like you've been grieving this for quite some time and you've been in grief. Or you've had like a massive surgery that changed your life or like a medical condition, like an autoimmune disorder was um, revealed to you. And this next four to five weeks, whatever this thing is that you have been grieving, you're going to come out of that grief. And um, it's like you're going to see the light of day again. So let's get some more cards. This is fascinating, Cancer. Some of you were like, um, like composers in a past life and you d don't even realize this, but you have a natural affinity and an ability to pick up like any instrument and naturally know how to play it. It's cause you were in your past life, you played a lot of music. You were some sort of, somebody said, I'm, I'm hearing the, the name Beethoven, which I don't really care for Beethoven. I'm a Mozart girl, but, um, like, you might have known Beethoven or lived when Beethoven was alive. Like, you look back at, like, read about composers from Beethoven's time. Because I feel like you might get crystallization. Your DNA might be woken up. We're learning about Beethoven. Um, you, yeah, you're going to learn something. And um, you have this natural gift involving... Some, it might be, like, maybe you're a songwriter. Maybe you're a... I don't know. There's all kinds of crap you can do with music. Maybe you're, you, if you're in college, like maybe you need to get into music. Five of wands clarifying the seven of wands. I cannot make this up. Do not force the next four to five weeks. You know, there is, you need to focus on that lesson. Like somebody in your life, somebody, I don't even know that this person's new. I don't know that they're returning or new. It's not really somebody from this life. This isn't somebody that, I don't think this person, you know them. Um, I'm also getting this energy where you're going to be really hot when you meet this person. Like, you might be outside, um, and people are like, oh, it's snowing where I'm at. Okay, well, you could be in, like, a building that, like, the thermometer is set really high, and you're just, like, dying of heat because of how hot it is. There's something here about your temperature. Like, you're at the gym, and you're, like, really busting it, and, and this person's just... 
they're gonna walk up to you and like be like my name's octopus <laughs> and you're gonna be like oh my gosh and your facial expression um is gonna invite this person into uh saying or doing something with you that is it's gonna be it's gonna feel like you're creating a series of events to like bring in some sort of manifestation and this is the inter most interesting reading cancer uh the moon i can't i can't even see this person as a as a reader this person is definitely gonna catch you off guard um <laughs> I feel like they kind of say or do something that really does. It's like, and, and I feel like your facial expression reveals to them that, like, you kind of knew that they were coming. They knew that they were going to meet you. There's some sort of, like, mirrored energy here with somebody. Um, you're going to, like, you might have your back to this person or they might have their back to you. This person doesn't feel like they're from this world. You're going to feel like this person dropped into your life because spirit put it there. And... This energy over the next four to five weeks, you're going to get really close with this energy. But this energy, I don't know how long this energy is going to stick around, Cancer. Because I think that this energy is here for you and them to learn some sort of lesson that in past lives you could not learn. Because of the economy, society, where technology was. It's something of that resource. Like... There's a change in your resources, your your income, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding of a situation of uh, somebody could be like, let's get this last card here. I'm kind of, I keep hearing, I keep hearing and seeing a train. Some of you might go on a train, not like a subway or a city bus. This is like. Real live train tracks, like Hogwarts Express. You're going to go on a train and the next four to five weeks. And you're like, where the hell is a train where I live? I don't know. There's trains all over the world. So there's something here about you traveling, going the distance. I almost said this earlier, that there's some rose-colored glasses. And um, I didn't want to say that. Yeah, there's the sun, the nine of cups, six of pentacles again. So... <clears throat> I feel like you, Cancer, have this vibe that you have done all that you can, you've accomplished. It's almost like a value thing. Um, you are trapped in some sort of idealism that you are never going to get out of a circumstance, Cancer. You're never going to move beyond a circumstance. And there's somebody in your life that's going to drop into your life and you are going to feel just as otherworldly to this person as they feel to you. You're not going to miss this person. It's going to be pretty clear. They're going to remind you of somebody, Cancer, and that person that they remind you of, I feel like it ended pretty horribly with that person. And um, Cancer, when this goes, whatever happens in the next four to five weeks, I don't think it's a like one-time encounter with this person. I think you're going to spend a little bit of time with this energy over the four to five weeks that this reading is technically for. And this Pisces new moon is really giving you an opportunity to heal something You've either been avoiding, you've not been admitting to, uh, you're very emotionally attached to the situation, you're struggling with communicating or not communicating even, or being in silence with some sort of past situation. And you and a new energy are, uh, it's really picking up, I'm picking up this person's very new to you. They are going to, and you, have some life lesson to learn together. This energy in you, I feel like it's a very temporary experience. You might spend five or seven, uh, like, hangouts with them. I'm going to call it hangout. I wouldn't call it dating, okay? This isn't somebody that you're romantically interested in. You and this person are here to heal each other from something that emotionally you are judging yourselves for. Um, you represent some sort of energy from the past for each other and this energy and you are on each other's path and you are destined to meet so that both of you can figure out how to get past this blockage this thing that you've been either grieving this loss there's something here that you are very very focused on cancer and the universe is trying to get you out of this energy it is trying to close out the cycle for you and so 
as much as you want to close out this cycle, somebody that represents your past also wants to close out the same energy. You're struggling, Cancer, with the fact that this new energy, this, this lesson that you learn with a new new energy uh, feels so much like the past. And what you're learning is that you cannot heal where you hurt. So I'm going to say that again. You cannot heal where you have experienced hurt. You have to walk away. You have to experience a situation void and away from it in order to truly process it. And what the universe is doing is bringing you somebody that mirrors your past to heal your past. And you represent that for this person. Um, actually, I just met somebody recently that literally could be identical twins with somebody that for me, it ended very horribly with that person. And instantly when I met this person, I knew why she came into my life. It's going to feel like that. You are going to meet this person. They're going to look so closely like the energy that you're healing from, that you've been grieving, that it's going to make you almost nauseous is what I'm hearing. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, this looks like so-and-so. Don't focus on so-and-so. Focus on the person that's right in front of you and allow yourself to be the new, healed, evolved version of you that you've been working effortlessly to become up until this moment. And now allow yourself to transmute that past experience with that person from the past with this new person. And when it's all said and done, safely let go of that person. Mutually let go of that person. Agree to disagree. Walk away kindly. Be able to understand that you're going through something right now that you have desperately wanted with a completely different person. But you, universe is giving you that healing cancer. It is removing the blockage. It is bringing you back your self-worth. It is uplifting your insecurities. It is making you sit at a new table where you don't feel like you are at the wrong table. Okay? We're going to throw an oracle of the unicorn that you can meditate with. You can see it walk with you. It'll carry you, Cancer. Um, miracles. Yeah, there's a miracle going on for you. Some of y'all need to write down, like... Um, I expect, or I, I am open to receiving miracles from expected and unexpected sources. That should be your motto. That might be your title. We'll see. I don't know which title is yet, Cancer. Um, I'm going to close it there because I feel like this is some really great positive energy for you. And I'm really excited. Um, drop some energy down below. Maybe even like release and let go of the person from the past that you would really like to heal a situation with. Like drop their name down in the comments. Say, I release. Maybe it's like, let's say Johnny Depp, you know, maybe, maybe Amber Heard would really like to heal with Johnny Depp. So she writes down, please forgive me, Johnny Depp. I release you. I release that version of me. And the next day she meets somebody who looks just like Johnny Depp and she gets to heal all that drama. Um, so it's kind of like that, you know, write down in the comments what you need to so that you feel like you're letting go of the past and you're inviting the future in. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please make sure that you're checking out all of your big four cancer and I'll get it to you next time.